Welcome back to Gladiators of the Cage 20. We are all set for our next professional fight of the evening. Let's go to the tail of the tape. Lewis Rumsey, he's 26 years old. He's 5'11". He weighs in at 215 pounds. He has a mixed martial arts record of 11 and 13. He's going up against Robert Morrow, 30 years old. He's six foot three, 215 pounds, with a mixed martial arts record of 23, 20, and one. Let's go down to Dan Bogan for the official introduction of these fighters. A co-main event is up next. And we need, from the blue corner, fighting for Gilbert Grappling, Rob Morrow to the inspection area at Cage Side. Rob Morrow. And Steven Cruz to Cage Side. We're waiting. There it is, the music for our next contestant ready to compete at Gladiators of the Cage 20. Rich, what a card so far. We've seen a little bit of everything in the last two fights as the action and the pace really, really stepped up. Yeah, it has. It has been definitely picked up uh, the last couple fights here, and I think everybody's just getting a little fever. And these are great matchups, by the way. Yeah, they I really didn't get a chance to them. mention that. Everybody's basically pretty evenly matched. Yeah, and I want to go on record and thank the fighters this evening. The fighters that are here competing this evening, some of these guys had to shuffle around on the fight card. Some of them had to take other opponents on short notice. And that's what Gladiators of the Cage is all about. Hey, look, we're a fight organization. We're a fight promotion. We're here to fight. And that's the kind of guys we want, dependable, reliable, ready to show up and go that extra step. And we've been very, very fortunate with a group of guys here that tonight really come to show what they're capable of and put it all on the line out here. And I'm looking forward. This young man, Rich, tell us his record again. He is 23 and 20. That's 43 fights plus sorry, a draw. And plus a draw. 44 fights. And how old is he? He's 30 years old. He's wow. coming out of Gilbert grappling. Obviously, you can tell he's a very active fighter. He likes to stand. He likes to stand, and his day job is he's a union laborer, so it's not like he's just a full-time fighter all the time. And I had a chance to talk to him. He has five kids. Wow. Busy, busy man. That's a busy man for 30 years old and having 43, I'm sorry, 44 fights. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. And the fighter he's going to be going up against that's going to be introduced here, he's, uh, he's got some experience under his belt also. He does. Now we need from the red corner, he fights for Team Vicious MMA, Lewis Rumsey. We're just awaiting the music for our next contestant, and here it is. But once again, we want to thank Stream Pittsburgh. They do a phenomenal job in the Pittsburgh area. If there's any event that you would like, Stream Pittsburgh can stream it live for you. Whatever that event being, whether it be a race, fight promotion, just like ours, contact Stream Pittsburgh for all your entertainment needs. It's your number one source for live entertainment. Visit StreamPittsburgh.com. Well, here we got, we got Lewis the Beast Rumsey coming out there. So he's no stranger to the cage either. either. He's 11 and 13. He's also a Bellator vet. He fought on Bellator before. There's a couple fighters here on this show that has fought in Bellator. He's a purple belt in BJJ under Royce Gracie. Can you tell us a little bit about Royce Gracie? Well, it's funny you say that. Royce, who just made his return not too long ago against Ken Shamrock in kind of a controversial way, did get to spend some time with him. I was fortunate enough to train with him. And um, Class Act does a great job with his seminar and always engaged with every one of his students. It was a, a real privilege to get to work with him. And um, it was a highlight, I guess, of my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu days, getting to work with uh, Hoist Gracie hand in hand. And it, it was a great experience. But uh, Rumsey comes in tonight with 20 four, or I'm sorry, 11 and 13. So it's a total of 24 fights. 
And then we're going over to the other side once again, where we have his competitor with 44 fights. And for those who are as good at math as myself. Uh, is that right? Well, don't ask me anything. I can't add anything up. 68 professional fights between these two guys. That's a lot. Yeah. Now imagine how much, what they've seen and what they've experienced. And take into consideration, Rumsey's only 26. So he's on a pace to catch Morrow up, but he's going to have his work cut out. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our co-main event of the evening, and it's time for the heavyweights. This is in the heavyweight gladiators of the cage. Pro division calling for three five-minute rounds. First, introducing fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 213 pounds, standing six foot three inches tall, 30 years of age. His record, 24 wins, 20 losses, one draw. He's a striker. He represents Gilbert Grappling. He's from Lockport, Illinois. Welcome the Destroyer, Rob Morrow! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He's 213 pounds also, 5 feet 11, 26 years of age, an 11 win, 13 loss record. He's a freestyle fighter. He fights 14 vicious MMA. From Williamsport, Pennsylvania, welcome Lewis. The Beast Rumsey, your referee, Chip Snyder. Now I'm Chip Snyder's gonna get us underway as I was talking about Lewis Rumsey, who's okay, no stranger gentlemen. to the Here ground. He was also ready? a wrestler Sir, his whole ready? entire life. Let's do it, come on. For, and he also, he didn't make the national team for freestyle wrestling, but he was an alternate on a national team. Well, that's some high level wrestling there. Do not blink we're into the heavyweights and rumsey very flexible for his size and very agile we've seen that before from him and a very experienced veteran he's very smooth you can see he has a nice swivel on his hips i'm waiting for him to throw a kick that's what i'm waiting on well, you can definitely see the martial arts background uh, with rumsey in his stance and especially his movement very flexible once again very good leg kick there morrow can't absorb too many of those but morrow just plodding forward nice Nice side kick. He hit, him, he hit him right in the sternum. Well, it could have been in the stomach. It's very close to exactly where you want to land it, but Morrow eh, seems unfazed. Big, strong, tough kid. Laborer all day, so he gets a workout all day. All remember, day long. Remember, fans watching this, these guys, a lot of them have full-time jobs. You know, where you see some of these professional fighters who have a lot of sponsors and the Ultimate Fighting Championships and so forth like that. Oh, Rumsey oh, nice got rocked. right. Huge right hand by Morrow. Rumsey trying to recover. Morrow has to unleash. He's got Morrow. Oh, oh, he, he hurt Rumsey him. Again. We're done. We're done. Oh. He hurt him. It's Rumsey done. dropped it's down. Done. He grabbed the leg. It's done. Snyder comes in, out. and this one is already he over. Well, Charlie, you told us not to blink, and out. I think something happened. Wow, hey, it happened really, really quick. What power these heavyweights possess. Morrow caught him, flush, and Rumsey did his best to recover. 12. He went Man. out. Man. I, uh, I don't know. I think he did he recover. I mean, he dropped down. He was, I think he was going for a leg, but it's it's hard to well, tell. Well, he got hit a second it's, time it's hard in Rock, to tell. it seemed. And then um, he he's definitely upset with this turnout. It looked like Chip was hesitant after he came in and seen Rumsey, but it was over already. So let's go to the instant replay. Let's get a better look at this one, Rich. Once again, Flaherty Fardo brings us this instant replay. Well, I take that back. He landed him with a straight left. Well, he, oh. Right on the butt. What, what a powerful shot. Just rumbled, rumbly. In perfect timing from the kick that Rumsey threw. Well, Rumsey, he's doing, he's trying to do a nice job. He's, I, I know he's seeing double, maybe triple in there, and he's doing what he can. He's just throwing his hands, and he's doing a nice job of trying to recover. Then he gets hit a second time. Oh, look right. at that one. Oh. That one is where Chip says, hey, this is enough. But look how quickly the veteran instincts come in. And, you know, it, it, already, though, Morrow was stepping over to Mount. Chip got in there and really probably saved a lot of unnecessary damage to Rumsey. I know Rumsey's not happy with it, but, hey, none of us are happy losing. But at the end of the day, it's safety first. Rumsey got knocked down twice very quickly. And we all know how dangerous knockouts are and concussions are and a very, very good job of putting an end to that fight early, I think. Well, Not Mar early, but on time. Morrow did a nice job. He just he just stayed, he stayed his pace. 
He was just very patient, and he picked his shot perfectly. He was waiting on that kick, it seemed like. Yeah, yeah, very, very well put, Rich. You know, it was timing, and that shows the experience of Morrow. He timed that kick perfectly, and I also believe they watched a lot of footage of Rumsey on that and knew what Rumsey was doing, waited for that kick to come, threw the big, powerful left, contacted, and Morrow did what he needed to do. Rumsey sometimes have difficulty seeming to get his back off the cage once he's up against it, and Morrow stood in front of him and threw punches, was able to get the W. Good job on all parts, and uh, let's go back to the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, the, came, the end came at round one, one minute, 12 seconds by knockout for your winner fighting out of the blue corner, Rob Morrow. Rob, who do you want to thank for this win tonight or who got you here to get ready for this? Um, my wife and kids uh, who are watching at home, appreciate it. Uh, my coach, Danny Gilbert, everybody over there, great team, push me. Uh, uh, just everybody, uh, sponsors, everything. Outstanding. Do you have any idea what's uh, next on your horizon for you after this fight? Uh, uh, May 20th uh, at the UIC Pavilion in Chicago, uh, UFC Fight Pass. Outstanding. Congratulations. Let's hear it for our winner, the Destroyer, Rob Morrow. Well, the Destroyer lived up to his nickname tonight, that's for sure, beating a very tough oh, veteran in Lewis Rumsey. Very good job there. Let's get ready. Now it's time for the main event. But before we do that, let's take a quick commercial break with our sponsors.